Good morning, children. August 31st, the end of the month, we made it. Hey, don't kid yourself. Sometimes surviving is what it's all about. 2020 is on the way to being over, and hopefully there's better times ahead. There's a bunch of articles coming out, Google stuff, read up. CDC admitted as much as uh, 90%, 90 percent of the uh, corona cases that were marked as uh, COVID responsible were not solely COVID, but were had another disease going on at the time. That's huge, guys, 90 percent. So instead of 150,000 or 160,000 deaths due to COVID, it actually only cost about 9,000, 10,000. Now, yeah, I'm not being flippant about nine or 10,000 deaths. The point is it's a much, much, much smaller number. I mean, to be off by 90%, people are starting to wake up and get this thing. And then the other thing that came out today, the New York Times, which is as left as they come, said that the uh, the tests the, the have false positives, that up to, there's this number again, 90% of the COVID tests uh, were, were, were not really positive and were significantly uh, didn't include uh, the, the, the level of, of how much COVID you were, you were carrying. So in effect, uh, it was too small. And people who did test positive for COVID didn't have enough to spread the disease, which was the main concern, right? Pandemic, remember all that on the news? Very interesting, all that's coming out now. It always comes out. And then, you know, the CDC has patents, which they're not allowed to patent. Um, Human-made, you know, uh, pathogens because that's biological weapons it's illegal there's laws international laws against uh biological weapons so you couldn't patent sars well cdc did it um so it's like okay if you're if it's man-made in a lab in wuhan or before that in unc chapel hill in north carolina that's illegal it's a biological weapon if it's not man-made you can't patent it because it's a plant like weed you know and it's all starting to unravel. You'll 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 see it eventually. Oh, August thirty first. Let's talk about what we can do today. We can't control any of that shit. Let's talk about what we can do today. If life hands you a lemon, don't complain, but instead make lemonade to sell to those who are thirsty from complaining. <laughs> ah, there you go. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Give me some lemonade. Wally Amos. 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 Wally Amos. The man who make many consider the father of the gourmet cookie industry, famous Amos Cookies, there you go, uh, has turned lemons into lemonade. So often in, in his life, that in, in an official portrait, he holds a pitcher in one hand and a glass of lemonade in the other. A perennial optimist, Amos refused to acknowledge that obstacles are anything other than stepping stones to success. In a career that has spanned several decades, he has made it to the pinnacle of success several times, only to lose everything and be forced to start over. But he never lost faith. You have to, you have to have the trust and faith to let go and not agonize. He said, "Don't waste your time worrying. Worry is not preparation." Amen to that. Analyze the situation and focus on solutions. There is always an answer. So, um, I've been known <laughs> throughout my life as a guy who doesn't sweat the small shit. And, and that's because at an early age I realized worrying about things don't fix them. And I focused on solutions. That's when I became a problem solver. When I became a problem solver is when I started to make money. So, you see how that all goes hand in hand. There you go. If you can't believe famous Amos and his cookies, who can you believe? Life hands you lemons, which it does a lot. Make lemonade out of it. I talked before about, you know, COVID and the negative impact it had on small businesses, specifically uh, around the world, not just here in my little tiny corner of the world. But also now, um, there's opportunity. You know, if you're a hustler and you're you're an investor, there's opportunities. Um, you know, businesses are cheap. Land is cheap. Um, if you've ever wanted to make it, now's the time to do it. So, Winston Churchill said, out of every uh, crisis comes opportunity. Now, if you create that crisis for opportunity, you're a scumbag like the CDC with this patent. But 
if you and me are just on the stage, we're just merely players, right? Like Rush says, <laughs> there's opportunity around. Open your eyes and uh, don't give up. Don't give up. Like, like my boyfriend, the same as said, it's, it's true.